Okay, let's talk. Hi, we're going to do a live demo uh, here of uh, Gavillion, a new dynamic updating system for performing live updates of uh, NetBeans modules. Um, it actually works the way that we've got an Italian student to write this uh, Space Invaders game clone um, on top of the NetBeans platform. So we have our application project here. And it's a, it's a rather simple game, but still the, the updates that I'm going to show you will actually be ranging from a project containing 2,000 lines of code up uh, towards 8,000 lines of code. So it's, it's quite extensive changes to a running system. And <clears throat> I'll show you how to play. Uh, this is the first revision uh, of a very, very boring uh, Space Invaders game. You can shoot some alias aliens, and you can you can do pretty much no, nothing more. No movement in the game. So we want to improve on that. So we want to switch to a, to a version that actually supports movement and shooting uh, by the aliens. Right. So I'm gonna switch from this reversion repository. I'm going to build the new module, so we will be able to install this in the running system and uh, update it with the Javelin enabled reload and target platform uh, menu item. We're going to apply that and we can see immediately in the in the running game that you can actually now the aliens start to move. We added some some new classes, the barrier class and um, what what you didn't see here but what I know uh, happened in the code was actually that the shooting from the aliens is actually <coughs> based on an abstract superclass. Uh, an abstract shot, which the original shooting from the from the spaceship now actually inherits from. Mm. So we actually change the super class of the shot to be based uh, extending from this abstract shot. So we can actually uh, change the inheritance hierarchy at runtime. So so still, it's not really fun, and you cannot you cannot kill those uh, barriers. Uh, they will. They, yeah, they will do a good job of protecting you, but that's not the initial thought of the game. So if I, I now I, I just died, and we haven't really got a scoring system, so we want to improve on that and add uh, maybe a scoring and a high score system to this game. And we're going to do this in by updating the application, the running application. So I'm going to switch to the next revision. <coughs> There you go. And we're going to build a new module jar. I'm going to start the, the game again so you can actually see that the game is running while the update is happening. So I'm, I'm, I'm then doing the, the update. And as you could see, really not much changed apparently, but now we're able to shoot those barriers, right? And if I die, whoops, we got the high score. So I'm going to add some initials and now we have a high score system. That's all great, but the graphics uh, doesn't really look appealing to me, so we again want to improve on that, so we will add uh, some much nicer graphics and uh, this Italian student that actually did the game thought that it could be fun to add a space uh, laser beaming uh, mothership, so why don't we just go ahead and add that as well. Okay. <coughs> Whoops, something went wrong with the subversion support. I don't know what happened. Let's try again. Nope. Maybe, okay, I went, I, I probably should go to revision 6 instead of 7 then. Yeah, that was it. No revision 7 in the repository. Sorry about that. So now it's finished. Uh, that's actually a quite large update um, to improve that graphics. So now we have built the module. I will again start the game so you can see the change uh, happening at runtime. So wow. now we have this uh, <laughs> this uh, laser beaming uh, mothership. Uh, unfortunately, I died. But now we're ready to play a much more rich featured mm -hmm. uh, with animated explosions and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And the whole time you haven't closed down the application once. 
Mm. Not once. Mm. You can do this mm. at once. Preserve the state. Mm. Yeah, the state was preserved. So Fabrizio can, can comment on this. Well, it's it's a really a good boost for productivity, of course, mm. yep. because it uh, eliminates all the pauses and like, the recompilation and reloading. So I'm eager to try it and mm. go home. Mm. Nice. <laughs> so thank you for listening. So where must we go to get this? You can go to uh, javilian.org and there will be downloaded instructions. You, it's, it's actually very, very easy to set this up. Mm. You can download an, an IDE plugin for the NetBeans IDE. Mm. Once you have installed it, you can just right-click mm. a new menu item on your application to add Javilion and you're ready to go. You just press run and you can take advantage of the new uh, re enhanced reload and target platform menu item. Excellent, thank you. Thank you.